Twitter Ads Tutorial 2024, how to run ads on Twitter. In this video, we're going to be talking about Twitter and how you can run ads on this platform in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, Twitter is one of the most used social media platforms out there and running ads on this can be huge because you could land great leads over on this platform. So if you want to run ads for yourself, there's nothing like getting verified or having a paid account or anything. It's pretty simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into your Twitter. And once you're in your Twitter, you're going to go to this section over here where it says more. Now, once you go on more, you're going to click on ads. And once you click on ads, it's going to open up the campaign form for your Twitter ads. Now, once we land over here, here it's going to say, what's your objective? It could be reach, engagement, website traffic, or keywords. So reach is to get more people to see your ad, so more visitors, basically. Then there's engagements, where you can get more likes, retweets, replies, and link clicks. Website traffic, where you want to get more people onto your website, so more visitors. And then keywords, where you can reach users with high intent. Obviously, this is a beta feature right now, but trust me, proper keywords will land you in a great place. So we're going to choose one of these, okay? So let's say I want to go with reach. Okay, I want to get more people to see my ad. Once you do that, you're going to click on next. Now here it says create a reach ad. So it could be an ad about anything that you're doing business on. So let's say I want to go ahead and write get new shoes at John's retail store right now. Okay, and then you can write summer sale, add some exclamation marks, and uh, you could write a good offer, like let's say 70% off flat on all shoes. So once you write this in, you can also add media for yourself. Okay, adding media is always a good option because if someone only sees text, they might not be attracted towards the object. But if you actually go ahead and add an actual picture of the product that you're talking about, then it might actually work wonders because imagine yourself, okay? You're going through your Twitter feed and you see an incredible picture of some product that you've been looking for ages or some sale product that looks really cool. You're obviously going to be attracted to that. You might not buy it, but you will be attracted to it and you will see it and you will want to actually check it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to add media. And once you add a media for yourself, let's see where it takes us from there. So once we've added our media over here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on confirm. OK, we're going to save the media that we want. And once it's properly saved, we are simply going to go ahead. OK, and you're going to choose the relevant media that is needed for this. app. And once you've chosen your relevant media, simply click on next over here. Now, once you do that, it says verification is underway. So basically, the campaign that you create will be verified. Your campaign will be pended in verification through the Twitter servers. So Twitter or X will actually review your ad and it's going to see if it's an actual proper ad and if there's anything wrong with it. Then obviously you won't need to do any action. The verification should be complete in 24 to 48 hours and your campaign will begin without running any further input. So once you've done that, here we have budget and schedule. So you're going to set a budget that fits your need and a date range to take more control of your spend. So let's say my budget is of $35. Okay. Now, once you go with $35, you're going to add a date range. And once you do that, you're going to add a credit card. So obviously they're going to cut the money off of you. So obviously they run the ad because the ad doesn't run for free. Obviously you are going to want to give a certain form of payment to actually launch the campaign. So that all depends on, you know, the demographic you have. So narrow your audience based on their gender. So if it's men's shoes, obviously I'm going to go with men. Then you have age range. Obviously it could either be all, or you could add a specific range. So let's say my range is from 18 and up. Then we have specific locations. Okay. You could include any location that you want your ad to actually run in. So let's say I want my ad to run in my own country. So I can actually search the location for my own country, add it over here. And, you know, that could be a good ad runner up. Then you have targeting features. Now, here's where keywords come in. So let's say I'm going to add keywords like shoes. Then you could add something like Nike 
You could add something like Air Max, uh, any different things. You can also ask recommendations from Twitter if you want to. Then you also have follower lookalikes, okay? So if there's any lookalike product out there on Twitter, like yours, you could add that as well. Then you have operating systems. Look, where should the campaign appear? So iOS, Android, you know, other mobiles, desktop, you could add all of it. So I'm gonna go with all Androids, all iOSs, and you have interests, you know, any interests you have, you could add it in the optional section. And once all of this is done, simply launch your campaign and that will run the ad. Now, obviously this is just one kind of campaign that you could run. There's also different discrete campaigns out there. So you have engagements, website traffic, and keywords. So we're also gonna go with the keywords beta because keywords is also a really fun feature. So you're gonna add keywords for your campaign. So let's say I'm gonna add a keyword like shoes for sale, okay? And then down here, we're gonna add never seen before Nike, let's say um, Jordans. You know, these are good keywords because these will achieve you actual or proper keyword section. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna click on next. Now, it says keywords required. You can add up to 100 keywords. So let's say you're gonna add Nike, you're gonna add shoes, you're gonna add Jordans. You could also add, add Air Max. Then you could add the color, like let's say white and just go on and on with the different keywords. So these are the, gonna be the targeting features. Now they're also gonna give you the reach potential. You know, how much reach are you actually gonna make with all of this? And once that is done, you're gonna go with, again, the budget that you have and add your credit card and you're gonna be good to go. So that is basically how you're gonna be running campaigns for yourself. And the best part about this is that if there's any wrong highlighted issues, it will let you know. So as you can see, it says for keywords, you will need to add a photo because without a photo, the keyword section will not work. So you can go ahead and add a proper media based photo for your ad. So you're going to add the picture You're going to click on save. Now what it does is it's going to save the image in your portfolio and also choose a proper media library click on confirm and now you have a proper image so this will also gain you a lot of customers okay and obviously you're going to have to broaden your audience as well by going into the demographics okay and let's say i'm going to go with men and you're going to go with an age range okay so i'm going to go with 18 and up you're going to search in locations like let's say it could be any location out there so you can do a radiance around a location. So let's say I want to go with Asia. So I want my product to appear in all of Asia or I want my product to appear in all of New York, maybe. OK, so this is how you're going to want to add potential. So as you can see, now we have the reach potential of 30 to 34,000 people. And just like this, you could also choose the map sections. So let's say right now we're in New York you can move over to another state for yourself. Let's say we want to go with any mountaintop range or something like that. So just choose different areas, choose different demographics, choose the ages you want people to actually apply to your ads. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much all there is when it comes to running an ad and running your campaigning. And obviously those campaigns will appear on your profile for other people that are going through their Twitter. So yeah, that's the main idea of Twitter ad campaigns and how you're going to run them. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.